I'm working on an advanced TRC project called Varsity Variation in the City. Um, and actually, the goal of that project would be to build new generation models of cities. So not only 3D cities as we are used to them, where actually you have more like simple boxes with the texture uh, mapped on, and then it's left to the brain of the observer to make sense of that. So the first uh, difference that we want to make is to have a clear understanding of the underlying 3D structure with uh, concepts like uh, floors and doors and windows and so on. And uh, secondly, we also want this model dynamic. So we want to populate it with a traffic flow. And within that traffic flow to recognize different agents like cars, pedestrians and so on. And there are uh, clearly new applications that such models would support. I gave the uh, examples in the video before, like if you know where the windows are, you would know how bright an apartment would be, and that's important in estimating the value, value of uh, real estate. Or if you know the traffic flows that will happen on a certain time or a certain day, then you can predict what would be a safe route uh, to school for your children. Now, from a technical point of view, um, the core of the project that we is that we want to take a holistic uh, view on computer vision, so making sense of images with computers, by combining 3D recognition and tracking. Okay, the starting point in 3D, so the first of these three components, is that so far 3D is rather dumb in a sense that okay, we built uh, a precise geometric replica but there is no meaning attached to that replica. And here we see an example. You would start from a, p a point cloud, a soup of uh, points in 3D, uh, and you could then texture that. We can go on to the uh, next step of the video, please. So here we see, in fact, a triangulated uh, mesh. If we go on, then we will see that we get also texture on, and it becomes very recognizable for humans. But still, to the computer, this is simply a bunch of 3D points. If you can go on in the movie, it would be good. So, you see, this is in fact now a very recognizable 3D structure, but of course, it's because your brain makes sense of it. It's not in the computer itself, that understanding. Okay, so that's the difference we want to make here. We, for that, we use so-called procedural modeling in 3D, and that means you have this list of uh, rules to describe a building. So on top, on the right, you have the Maison Carré, as an example, in uh, Nîmes, in France. Below is, in fact, the result of the rules that you have on the left. And now you have this very compact model with understanding what the different parts are, and it generates you very compactly a, high precise, a highly precise uh, description. Second component was tracking. Track is important in the project because we want to understand the traffic flows, as I said. So here you see at one crossroads in Zurich, you have the different times, the different cycles when cars and trams can move according to certain um, directions. And we automatically analyze those as well to indeed understand the typical traffic flows. Recognition. Uh, so on the left you have an image. On the right hand side you have the understanding of the computer after this automatic processing goes on, where you would have in red windows, you have balconies, you have the blue roof there, you have the yellow wall. And if we have that, we can actually improve the 3D models. So again, on the left, what I just discussed, and on the right-hand side, you would have this now structured model. So this is a computer model generated from the image on the left. Okay. But now we concepts like windows and doors and, and all that, which is new in this area. Okay. So if you look at this uh, video, you see the difference between the typical classical way of having just a box for that uh, building and smashing a texture on versus the structure description on the right, where we know where the windows are, that it would lie a bit deeper, even th if that is difficult to measure exactly in 3D. Um, we would also have some reflections in those windows, making it a much more vivid and realistic uh, visualization. At the same time, more compact as well, and supporting more applications. Here we have another combination of different components. 
I don't want to get technical, but here we try to analyze how different people are moving in that environment. Uh, with respect to that environment, we understand the 3D structure now. We have the understanding that these are people, because we recognize them as being people, and we can track them. So you see all those components nicely working together. And in fact, this is what uh, will now all be combined in the next generation visualizations, uh, the next Google view, if you want, of uh, our cities. To finish, I can say that we have created quite a few companies in the group already. Innovation has been mentioned, also how to uh, get an impact on the economy. I think we had an impact already. So these are a subset of uh, the companies we created, about 12 by now. Uh, and in fact, for this project, for this ERC project, there are two classes here. The green ones are the ones that pre existed the uh, proposal, the project, and have actually helped with generating it by having on a larger scale data being uh, measured, which is often difficult for uh, universities to do. And then the ones in red have been created during and as a result of the ERC uh, grant, which I must say is fantastic to have. Thank you.